Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. I have some footage that I recorded almost a year ago and I haven't had a chance to share it with you and I'm so excited to get this out there finally. This video is all about storing flour for long-term storage, not just for use on your shelf over the course of a couple of months. friends welcome back to my pantry we've been in here before if you watched my pantry tour you know exactly what this looks like if you haven't watched my pantry tour be sure to go do that it's an amazing tour of our two-year food supply uh, in our pantry and our freezers so check that out but for today I'm gonna be processing this flour one of the things that people were really really concerned about which was really sweet during the pantry tour was that all my flour was still in bags so it was only about two months old we had been in the process of moving into this house so this flower is very, very new and I just hadn't had time to put it into long-term storage yet. And so um, a lot of people were really concerned about that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We are gonna put everything into long-term storage. So let's get it done. First, we need to get all of these into the freezer. We have so many freezers that we were able to put a lot into the freezer at one time. If you have one freezer or a, an above refrigerator freezer, you may have to do it over time. These do need to sit in the freezer for at least 24 hours. I like to err on the side of caution and leave them in the freezer for about 72 hours, but that's up to you. You can decide whether you wanna do 12, 24, 96, however many hours. And then you're gonna take them out and bring them back to room temperature. The reason that you freeze them is to kill any bugs that may be in the flower already, but like microscopic, any bugs that might be in the paper, and then we're gonna take it out of the paper, and we'll show you that next. All right, so here we are about a week later. I took these out of the freezer last night, and so they've been able to warm up to room temperature, and now we're gonna put them in Mylar bags inside buckets. We wiped out all of the buckets with cleaner and made sure that they were completely dry, so now I'm gonna put Mylar bags in them. So the Home Depot buckets have this little tamper-proof tab. They really click down on there really, really well, and then you have to rip the tab to get them open, which I really like. The Lowe's buckets do not have that, and so they're just kind of like a really flimsy lid. They cost exactly the same, so um, you can also get food safe buckets from uh, like as your standard, um, they'll ship them to you, but I don't like to wait a month to get stuff like this, especially when I'm trying to get food um, saved. So I just usually get them from um, Home Depot. So bucket and lid from Home Depot is, I want to say seven bucks, eight bucks maybe. So it's kind of expensive. I'm not sure how much they are from Azure. They may be way cheaper, but I don't think they have the locking lid. So you just have to check on that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put the flour into um, Mylar bags, just open the paper, dump them in there. Um, a five gallon bucket will hold about 25 pounds just straight into the bucket, but we're gonna be putting it into a Mylar bag first and, and then into the bucket, kind of. And so um, it may be a little bit less than 25 pounds, but we're gonna find out. These are five gallon Mylar bags. Um, I got them on Amazon. They don't have the reusable like seal on the top, uh, like the Ziploc kind of seal. And so we're just gonna use an iron and a board to seal them, and I prefer that. They're a little bit cheaper. Um, to get them without the seal, but it's up to you. I'll drop a link for these in the video description. That's 10 pounds. Let's give it a shake. Okay, I was hoping to get 25 pounds in here, but I think 20 is all I'm comfortable with. So let's get this sealed up. All right, so now we're getting ready to seal this and I have a board here. I've just brought it over to the bucket and I have an iron set up over here on the setting for cotton. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go along this edge. I've kind of like straightened it gotten it as even as possible we're gonna get to about three quarters of the way sealed and then we'll push the air out and we'll seal the rest of the way you really only have to press this for a couple of seconds and then it's sealed I like to seal it all the way at the edge so that I can cut and reuse this if needed so 
I have just a little bit now. I'm gonna push as much of the air out as possible. There's not a lot of air in here because it is so full. And then I will seal the last little bit. Of course, if you have a sealer for Mylar bags, that works too, but I don't. And so we just use an iron. And that's it, that's sealed up. So now all we'll do, push the edges in, put the lid on top. Use a soft mallet so you can really, really hit it, otherwise it will not close. Then double check and make sure it's all secure. You can label this with a Sharpie and you're good to go. So here are the containers in the corner of our pantry. It's actually been about a year since I recorded the first part of this video and I didn't have a chance to share it with you. So all of these tubs were full and now they're empty. <laughs> and so I'm actually getting ready to process another batch. You can store these uh, anywhere that is cool and dry. It doesn't have to be in a pantry. It can be in a laundry room or even in your attic if it's well conditioned. But I would caution against uh, storing these buckets anywhere where it's gonna get really warm or where rodents might get into it because I actually have seen rats chew through the plastic and into the mylar. So just keep it somewhere conditioned, but it doesn't have to be somewhere conventional. It can be somewhere like under your bed or in the closet, um, just somewhere that it's gonna be temperature controlled more than somewhere like the garage. So that's it y'all, that's how we store our flour for long-term storage. I'm so excited that you guys were here. I hope you get to try it soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, and be sure to check in next week for our next video, and we'll see you next time.